Exciting advancements in solar technology from Oxford University could change how we think about renewable energy and electric vehicles. Researchers at Oxford have developed a special light-absorbing material that can be easily applied to these items, turning them into mini solar panels. How much energy could we save if our cars charge while we drive, or our backpacks powered our devices on the go? With a design that's incredibly thin and efficient, this new solar technology promises to make solar power more accessible than ever. What does this mean for the future of energy consumption? Well, to know all about this, you'll have to stay tuned until the end. A recent breakthrough from the physics department at Oxford University has introduced a revolutionary approach that might not only enhance solar energy production, but also significantly impact the electric vehicle industry. Research at Oxford University have created a new method that steps away from traditional silicon-based solar panels. Instead of relying solely on these conventional systems, they have developed a special light-absorbing material. This innovative material can be easily applied as a coating on everyday items like cars, backpacks, and even smartphones. This means that many objects in our daily lives could contribute to gathering clean energy, making renewable power more integrated into our lifestyles than ever before. Let's talk about the super thin design. One of the standout features of this new solar material is this incredibly thin design. At just over one micron thick, it is about 150 times thinner than a standard silicon wafer. This lightweight characteristic allows the material to attach seamlessly to various surfaces without adding extra weight or bulk. Multi-junction technology is the next thing we'll dive into, as the researchers have employed an advanced technique called multi-junction technology. This process stacks multiple layers of light-absorbing material within a single solar cell. By doing so, the cell can capture a broader spectrum of light, leading to a remarkable increase in power generation. This means that more energy can be produced from the same amount of sunlight, this allows for impressive energy efficiency. This groundbreaking material has been certified to achieve over 27% energy efficiency. This figure puts it on par with traditional silicon photovoltaics, a significant milestone for any new technology. Even more exciting is the potential for future advancements, with expectations that these devices could eventually exceed 45% efficiency. The implications of this innovation are vast. The ability to incorporate solar energy generation into everyday objects can dramatically increase the availability and convenience of renewable energy. For instance, the roofs of cars could potentially generate power while driving, or backpacks could charge devices on the go. This seamless integration into daily life makes solar energy more accessible and practical for everyone. The potential of this groundbreaking solar technology is tremendous. Dr. Shuifeng Hu, a postdoctoral fellow at Oxford, highlighted the incredible progress made by the research team. In just five years, they have managed to boost the power conversion efficiency of solar cells from around 6% to over 27%. This dramatic increase is crucial in combating climate change and reducing our reliance on fossil fuels. Over the past decade, the cost of solar energy has dropped significantly. Since 2010, the global average price of solar electricity has fallen by nearly 90%. This remarkable decline has made solar power approximately one-third cheaper than electricity produced from fossil fuels. With ongoing innovations like this one, we can expect prices to continue to decrease, making solar energy more accessible to everyone. At the heart of this innovation are thin film perovskite materials. These materials are celebrated for their outstanding ability to absorb light. Researchers have devoted considerable effort to studying perovskites because they have the potential to surpass traditional solar materials and performance. The team has employed a multi-junction approach in their research, which involves layering different materials that capture various wavelengths of light. This technique allows solar cells to absorb more energy from sunlight, resulting in higher efficiency levels. In contrast, conventional single-layer silicon panels can only absorb a limited range of light, which restricts their overall efficiency. One of the most exciting aspects of perovskite materials is their flexibility. Unlike traditional solar panels, which can be bulky and difficult to install, perovskite coatings can be applied to various surfaces. This adaptability opens up many possibilities for solar energy generation in locations where standard panels might not be feasible or visually appealing. For example, perovskite coatings can be added to the roof of buildings or even vehicles, seamlessly integrating solar technology into our everyday lives. Before the publication of their scientific study, the groundbreaking solar technology developed by researchers at Oxford University received certification from Japan's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, or AIST for short. This certification confirms that new materials achieve an impressive energy efficiency of over 27%, which is a significant leap from the average 22% efficiency of traditional silicon solar panels. 
Such validation is crucial as it establishes the credibility of research and indicates that this technology is ready for real-world adoption. The flexibility of this solar material allows it to be applied to various surfaces, leading to numerous potential applications beyond standard solar panels. One of the most promising uses is in the electric vehicle sector. Imagine cars coated with this solar material that can generate electricity while parked or even while in motion. With this technology, vehicles could potentially extend their driving range by supplementing battery power with solar energy, providing a much needed boost in efficiency for the growing EV market which is projected to reach over 30 million units sold by 2030. Moreover, this innovative coating can be applied directly to buildings, transforming roofs and walls into energy-generating structures. This approach, known as Building Integrated Photovoltaics, could lead to more sustainable urban environments where buildings actively contribute to their energy needs. According to the International Energy Agency, buildings account for approximately 36% of global energy consumption, making this application vital for reducing overall energy demands. In addition to vehicles and buildings, the incorporation of this solar material into our consumer electronics could revolutionize how we charge devices. With the ability to harness sunlight, smartphones and laptops could self-charge, decreasing reliance on conventional power sources. This change would not only offer greater convenience, but could also significantly reduce the estimated 1 million metric tons of carbon dioxide emitted annually due to electricity generation for charging electronic devices. Lastly, the potential of solar coatings and wearable technologies is significant. Devices such as smartwatches and fitness trackers could utilize solar energy, allowing users to stay connected without the constant worry of battery life. The global wearable technology market is projected to reach $60 billion by 2025, highlighting the massive impact that this innovation could have. The advent of this new solar technology could lead to significant economic benefits and job creation. With the rise of a new industry centered around manufacturing these solar materials, there will be a demand for skilled workers in various fields, including engineering, manufacturing, and research. The global green economy is rapidly expanding, and innovations like those from Oxford University can help the UK position itself as a leader in renewable energy technologies. Professor Henry Smith emphasizes that supplying these materials will create a fast-growing industry within the green economy. Oxford PV, a company spun out of Oxford University, is already working to commercialize perovskite photovoltaics. Their factory in Germany is the world's first volume manufacturing line for perovskite on silicon tandem solar cells. This indicates strong commercial potential for the technology and highlights the importance of supporting innovation in the renewable energy sector. While advancements from Oxford University in solar technology are exciting, they do come with their own set of challenges and controversies that need to be addressed. One major hurdle is the competition with traditional silicon-based solar technology. The solar industry has heavily invested in silicon panels, and there may be resistance to shifting towards perovskite materials. Questions also arise about whether these new solar cells can match the reliability and long lifespan that consumers have come to expect from established solar panels. Another significant challenge involves regulatory hurdles. New technologies must comply with safety and environmental standards, which can slow their entry into the market. Meeting these requirements is essential for perovskite solar cells to gain widespread acceptance, but the process can take time and may require extensive testing and validation. Environmental concerns also loom over perovskite materials. Some of them contain lead, raising worries about toxicity and how they will be disposed of once they reach the end of their life cycle. Ongoing research is vital to ensuring that this innovative technology is genuinely sustainable and does not pose environmental risk. Market acceptance is another critical factor. For this new solar technology to thrive, consumers and businesses must be willing to embrace it. There may be doubts about how well perovskite coatings will perform and how durable they will be compared to traditional solar panels. Building public awareness and providing education about the benefits of this technology will be crucial in overcoming skepticism. To fully leverage the potential of perovskite solar technology, scaling up production is essential. This involves transitioning from small laboratory tests to large-scale manufacturing. Significant investments in infrastructure will be needed, such as constructing factories that can efficiently produce perovskite coatings. These facilities must also ensure that the quality of the product is maintained as production ramps up. Government support will also play a role in this transition. For the UK to become a leader in this innovative solar technology, policymakers must create an environment that encourages manufacturing and innovation. Historically, the UK has focused more on establishing solar farms than on commercializing new technologies, so a shift in approach is needed. Collaboration on a global scale will also be crucial. The complexities of this new technology require partnerships among international research institutions, companies, and governments. 
By working together, the UK can enhance its position in the global green economy and help drive the future of renewable energy. With these strategies in place, the path forward towards perovskite solar technology looks promising, offering a potential solution to many of today's energy challenges. By developing a flexible, ultra-thin solar material that can be applied to various surfaces, they are paving the way for a future where solar power is more accessible and integrated into our daily lives. As we look ahead, the implications for electric vehicles, buildings, and consumer electronics are profound. The innovations coming out of Oxford not only promise increased energy efficiency and cost savings, but also present a pathway towards a more sustainable future. What are your views on this? Do let us know in the comments section below, and for more such amazing videos, do subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.